Country News on channel 69. My name is Ben Dover and this is my partner. Pat me. Hello America. Today we will stop your broadcasting to inform you some breaking news. We have recently obtained a very important interview with none other than the president himself. Just for uh, all you uneducated Americans out there, we have been covering the Nixon Watergate scandal. A highly controversial story focusing on President Nixon's illegal actions during his presidency so far. So far, the facts concerning this case are that Nixon illegally ordered the break in to the Democratic National Committee headquarters, broke wiretapping laws, and tried to cover the whole thing up. We, along with the rest of the nation, are still waiting to see how things will end up. Over. Adding along to that, I think that before any prosecutions are ordered, Nixon will resign from humiliation due to the fact that he's a retard. What? Said he no, 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 after that. Oh, he's a retard. retard. Never, never. <laughs> Anyways, we'll now broadcast to our top secret interview with Nixon, the president himself. Sending it, sending it to our reporter, Roberto Gonzalez Ramirez, Jose Roberto Arturo Jr. Hello, Mr. President. I'm going to ask you a few questions about the recent incidents that occurred. What incidents? No, no. Well, I have no idea what you're talking about, but I can tell you about the Watergate scandal. <laughs> okay, uh, can you please go to the corner here on the Watergate and uh, why was it broken into by your order, I believe? Well, start off with, uh, my job is to do whatever is best for the nation. And for whatever is best for the nation is to protect, serve my nation at any cost. And I was doing this in order to help the nation. So, you broke into the Watergate Hotel. I did not break into the Watergate <laughs> No, I did not break into the Watergate scandal. You ordered the Watergate Hotel breaking. Is that is that right? Yeah, but that's to protect and serve the United States of America. You're here and you're doing what you're doing right now because of that. And you guys are trying to impeach me? What is no. this bogus things you guys are saying? Well... If I believe right, you tapped, the, you wired the hotel. Tell me what you believe. I you believe said. that it was in your speech that you gave to the people to tap the hotel, right? Well, like I said, I did that in order to protect and serve the and United States. How, how did they protect and serve the country? So you see, when I find out what they do, they're going down. They're going down. Just, just dead on down. Who, when I find down? out their plans, it's game over. Whoever's the bad guy. <laughs> I see. So, well, thank you for uh, answering my questions in such detail, Mr. President. Before you leave, I'll take that hand back. Before you go, <clears throat> the reason why you're sitting here is because of me. You, you realize that, right? If I said, okay, unemployment is going to go high, they do what I do. You know what I'm saying? You got you're out. So you got to be thanking me instead of interviewing me and trying to tell me. You're trying. You're questioning me. So why are you questioning me? Well, I'm the president of the United States of freaking America. So you should be thanking me rather than questioning me. Well, that concludes my interview. So. Good day. Thank you. Today we have another interview with a war veteran himself from Vietnam. We're going to ask him a few chong, questions. Chong, 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 Kamori. No, he's an American war veteran. Oh. Yeah, his parents are Asian. Okay, anyways, we're going to ask take, him a few seat. questions, try to really take a seat, understand what it takes to be an American War veteran. How are you doing today? Uh, Come closer. Come closer. <laughs> there you go. Yes. What's your so, name, sir? Uh, John Smith. John Smith, John. Good name, good name. Good name. My name is Ben Dover. Can you, can you, I'm, I'm Pat D, by the way. Can you tell me what happened to your beautiful arm here? Uh, I got shot in the arm and my arm just starts tingling right now and I can't shot really in stop the it. arm. What? Well, what did you do to get uh, shot? I, I, I was just running down the jungle and something just came up and bit me. Thought it was a snake, but apparently it's a bullet. I thought you got. Oh, really? Someone said I got shot and they took out the bullet on my arm. You see this hole right here? Oh God! Oh my God! Get away! You see, this is what the president's doing to us, sending our good kids. To Why get... would they just take the troops away? God, look at this poor fella. Just barely 15 years old and a freaking beat. Wait, 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 wait. Where are your parents, good sir? Uh, they're, they're dead. They're Vietnam they're too. Dead. 
<laughs> Vietnam too. Everyone's in Vietnam. His parents, his grandparents, wait, his dog. Wait, 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 wait. Who killed? Them? Did they die from a heart attack? What? How did they die? Do you know they, what? They they were in the war and were they war troops? Yes. Fighting yes, against the American troops. Yes, sir. The Mr. LBJ sent them. Really? LBJ, yes. LBJ, what a terrible man. What a terrible this 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 America, is the future of America. My this friends. America is the result of so-called success, prosperity, and yeah. And yeah. <laughs> and yeah. Well, goodbye, John Smith. Thank you for your cooperation. No, thank you. Now, continue on with our show. You take the start off of me. Oh, honey, you knock on my door. I threw away my key. Everyone knows it. It was wired. Mixed and fire. Nobody knows it. Right from the start. Give you my chance. Where Welcome back, fools! <laughs> Helco! We are now having our segment of stuff people invented that we don't really use. Um, our first thing is a post-it note. Uh, Nadine, explain the post-it note. The post-it note is, is a paper that is sticky. And uh, you write stuff on it. I don't know how they got it sticky, but it's... I don't know who cool. invented this, but I don't know why they're making this stuff. My grandma could have invented this. My dog could have invented this. Your grandma could also invent sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> Grandma makes me sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> That's not funny. Anyways, moving on to our next thing. We have this new device called a cellular phone. I think it's like this. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Cellular phone. And what you see is you talk to people who aren't there, like some ghost stuff or something. It's like, like you're that. talking into it. Yeah, in, into, oh, into oh, it. Into yeah. it. Going on to our third thing, which we don't have here, is a floopy disk. Oh, the floopy, floopy disk. That, that, yeah, that's floopy an interesting disc. one. And the floopy disk. It's about... <laughs> Two, it's two like, of these. It's well, like two, it's two like postage square. stuff. Sorry, they're very expensive these, right now. We can't afford it. Our company is very cheap right now. These floopy disks uh, have stuff that you put into the computer. It's just like... You just put it into the computer and stuff appears on the computer screen. Like where Stay, you save. Yeah. And you don't need to write on post-it notes. Yeah. No, this is, yeah. <laughs> you, you can write on the floopy disks. They're not on it. In it. Yeah, in it. Okay. In it. <laughs> So, if you don't want to use a post-it note, use a floopy disk. Oh, and if you're really post-it note. School, just use a pen. No, don't, don't forget about just the post-it note. One more thing. The pen. Post-it note, you, you put it on someone, they think the and wrong then, way. See, you're look, like, pat me, his name. Oh my god. <laughs> Kick me. Oh. Ah. Uh, uh, okay. Well, so that ends our segment of stuff people invented that we don't need to use. Thanks for tuning in to Channel 69 on American History News. Tune in next week for more breaking news and hilarious stuff. I'm Pat Me. And I'm Ben Dover. And goodbye. Goodbye. Those armpits. Pregnant. Oh my god. Water break scandal. Sharon's water broke. This is bogus! <laughs> Welcome back! Oh god! <laughs> hey, hey, no videotaping right now. <laughs> Cut, print, beautiful. <laughs> ah! <laughs> so stop the fucking camera! <laughs> what is this glitter? Why is this camera still on? <laughs> what kind of director is this? <laughs>